so much. Hey, angels. What's up? It's your girl, Alicia. And I'm here today with a message for you guys from the Lord today. To God be the glory. And before we dive into this word today, I need to take a second and welcome all the angels to the academy. If this is your first time, this is a God-ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable, and to grow into the fullness of God. So if you have not done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come over and join the family. If you are already one of my angels, you guys know. I love you so much. And without further ado, let's just dive right into this video. Okay, so hey, angels. Hey, family. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. I miss you guys. Comment down below and let me know how you guys have been doing. And so before we dive into this word today, we need to take a second and thank all of my moderating brothers and sisters. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for holding down the chat, helping me keep a safe and clean community here. I need to take a second and thank my super chat family. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for sewing into God's vision here on the channel. You guys are definitely appreciated. And so do you guys got your Bibles? You got to know I got mine. Comment down below. I got my Bible, sis. I got my Bible so you know it's real. Glory be to God. And I'm so excited to dive into this word with you guys today. It's actually early. This is a bit of a busy week and um, I'm just trying to regroup and get focused. Um, and so I really appreciate you guys for coming by the channel every single day for a word. And so God told me to title this message today in the middle of a miracle. And I just want you guys to just let that sizzle in your spirit. We need to take a second and allow the Holy Spirit. And although I know he's already here because he's within me, but you guys know that we do nothing here without God. And so Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for your mercy, your grace, and your protection, Father. I ask that you lead and guide this conversation today, Lord. Whatever it is you want to speak to your people, I ask that you use me today, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Comment down below. Amen. So I know it's real. Glory be to God. Okay, angels. So God told me to title this message today, In the Middle of a Miracle. Glory be to God. And this word is all about you becoming supernaturally graced. For whatever it is that you're going through and the Holy Spirit dropped this word on me this morning so I was so excited to get to you guys to actually break this thing down to you guys and we're going to start this word off in scripture we're going to read it together as a family and then I'm going to break this thing down to you guys the way the Holy Spirit gave it to me so get your Bibles if you got your Bible app on the phone you guys already know what I always say that's fine and so today we're going to be in 2nd Corinthians chapter 12 God let me hear this morning and so so let's read together as a family, shall we? Okay, family, so let's get it. Let's go. Second Corinthians chapter 12. Paul's vision in his thorn in the flesh. This boasting will do no good, but I must go on. I will reluctantly tell about visions and revelations from the Lord. I was caught up to the third heaven 14 years ago. Whether I was in my body or out of my body, I don't know. Only God knows. Yes, only God knows whether I was in my body or outside my body. But I do know that I was caught up to paradise to heard things so astounding that they cannot be expressed in words. Things Things no human is allowed to tell. That experience is worth boasting about, but I'm not going to do it. I will boast only about my weaknesses. If I wanted to boast, I would be no fool in doing so because I would be telling the truth. But I won't do it because I don't want anyone to give me credit beyond what they can see in my life or hear in my message. Even though I have received such wonderful revelations from God. So to keep me from becoming proud, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger from Satan to torment me and keep me from becoming proud. Three different times I begged the Lord to take it away. Each time he said, my grace is all you need. My power works best in weaknesses. So now I am glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can come work through me. That's why I take pleasure in my weaknesses and in the insults, hardships, persecutions, and troubles that I suffer for Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. So glory be to God and God bless this word today. Let me see if I could break this thing down to you guys the way the Holy Spirit gave it to me. And so when we take a look at this scripture, the apostle Paul is given an account of the method that God took to make him humble and to strengthen him. Now catch this message in the spirit. He speaks of visions and revelations he received from the Lord. Somebody comment down below. The gift brings problems. Glory be to God. And so Paul speaks of being caught up to the third heaven. Listen, Paul is in paradise at this point and he hears and sees astonishing things that cannot be expressed in words and things that no human is allowed to tell. Now hear me by the spirit of the Lord. God allowed him to see and hear these things 
things that was worth bragging about. But Paul is humble in the scripture. Paul says that he will only boast about his weaknesses. And so we get down to verse 7 family. And Paul says that even though he has received such wonderful revelations from God. To keep him humble from becoming proud. He was given a thorn in his flesh. Glory be to God. So Paul literally has a thorn in his side. You ever had a thorn in your side? Listen, a problem that just comes up out of nowhere. Listen, something that just takes place. Glory be to God. Listen, this is why you got to understand that the gift brings problems. You're going to experience certain problems. You're going to experience these thorns in your flesh. Understand that when we take a look at the scripture, we are not told what his thorn was that was in his flesh. Was it great trials? Glory be to God. Was it great troubles? Listen, was it temptation? What was it? But it could have been anything. Catch this message in the spirit. But I want you guys to focus on your thorn right now as you meditate on this word understand that there is never a promise without a problem who am I talking to today and so Paul says that a messenger of Satan gave him this thorn and so the thorn was from the devil listen to torment Paul and God allowed it to keep Paul humble Woo! this is a word Paul didn't like the problem, but God liked what it was producing in Paul. Listen to what I'm saying to you guys today. God liked the things that it was perfecting in him. Glory be to God. And so Paul didn't want the pain, but God saw that it increased his prayer life. Listen, and understand that God often brings the good out of the evil. And this is what the scripture means when it says that even though the devil sent things of evil, God will use that thing and turn it around for your good. And see, understand that. When God allows the enemy to attack you, it is to produce something on the inside of you. And the thing that God is trying to produce on the inside of you is something that is going to help you to persevere. Who am I talking to today? And so understand that spiritual burdens are ordered to cure spiritual pride. Listen, and so the thorn in his flesh is said to be a messenger of Satan, which he sent for evil. Listen, but God designed it and overruled it for Paul's good. If this is your word today, comment down below. Sis, this is my word today. It got to be. And see, God knew that the affliction will bring Paul to him. Glory be to God. Understand that troubles are sent to teach you to pray. Glory be to God. And God won't always give you what it is that you ask for. When we take a look at the scripture, we notice that on three different occasions, Paul begged the Lord to take this thorn away. Paul was begging God to take it away. He was praying out to God. And each time God told Paul, no, who am I talking to today? God told Paul, my grace is all that you need. Glory be to God. Somebody comment down below. God's grace is sufficient. Now hear me by the spirit of the Lord. God wanted Paul to know that his power works best in his weaknesses. And so sometimes God will grant wrath into your life. And sometimes he denies you in love, but God will not take away your troubles and your temptations. But what God will do is that he will give you the grace to endure and to strengthen you. This is a word. Understand that grace is the goodwill of God towards you. And that is enough to enlighten you. That is enough to strengthen you. And that is enough to comfort you in all of your inflictions. So I don't know what it is that you're going through right now but understand that his grace is going to be manifested and magnified into your life and understand that when you are weak within yourself then you are strong in the grace of the Lord this is when you go to God and you receive strength from him glory be to God and so understand that this is a perfect example of why sometimes bad things happen to good people somebody comment down below there's a purpose to the suffering and see God sent me here to tell you guys today that Satan will use your trials he will use your sufferings he will use your tribulations and your difficulties to torment you but this is not God's purpose God has another purpose by which he allows the suffering to happen to you and understand that God allows suffering purposely listen Comment down below, Alicia, I get that if you understand what I'm saying to you guys today. And so that his purpose and his goodwill will be fulfilled in you. Listen, I need somebody to comment down below. The suffering is for my good. And listen, this is literally what God sent me here to tell you guys today. That in your weaknesses, God allows his power to be put on display. Glory. Understand that God wants you to depend on him and to rely on him. So if you're going through something right now, if you have a thorn in your flesh, listen. If you're being afflicted in any area of your life, God sent me here to tell you guys today to count it as all joy. Glory be to God. Whenever you are afflicted,
with it. And so if this is your word today, God sent me here to tell you guys today that he is teaching you how to be silent in this season. The less that you say, the more that he moves. Glory be to God. And God is getting ready to get you back on your feet for the greatest comeback. So get excited. Everything is coming right on schedule, saith the Lord. The people, the resources, the finances, the answers to all your problems, they are coming. Understand that God has an interesting way of rerouting your plans and rearranging people and making everything come together for your good. So if this is your word today, somebody comment down below, stay in peace. Glory be to God. I just kept hearing the spirit of the Lord say, be still because you are right in the middle of a miracle. Make no mistake about it. Listen, and God will keep the troubles of the enemy from defeating you. Understand that your challenges are coming to an end and a sudden rush of opportunities and blessings will clear the way for you. I love you guys so much. I pray that you guys receive this word from the heavens above. Don't worry about it if you're being afflicted right now. Glory be to God. Don't worry about all the problems that's coming into your life. Understand that with the promise comes problems. Glory be to God. Understand that the blessings is coming, but God is focusing on what he's trying to birth on the inside of you glory be to god the prophecy must be fulfilled i love you guys so much we are on the road to sixty thousand angels to god be the glory but i cannot do it without you guys i need you guys to continue to do what you've been doing giving the videos a great big thumbs up make sure you like you comment you subscribe hit that bell to turn on your notifications so you never miss a video here at the academy please share the videos out with at least three or four people that the spirit leads you guys to before you guys get out of here i'm gonna leave the other channels here just pause the video and make sure you guys are subscribed to our other channels here on youtube if you have not gotten your holy anointed oil shit what is you doing poo <laughs> i love you guys the link is down below in the description go down below and go over and get your holy oil family if you would like to sow a seed into the ministry all the information is down below in the description if you're old school you like to send a check out i'll insert my p.o box right here for you guys and i want you guys to send me out your testimonies send me out any merch anything you want to share with the community and send me out a personalized letter just letting me know what the academy has done for you how it has been a blessing to you i would love to receive it and so i love you guys so much and that is the end of our video today but always remember the secret to success say it with me y'all put god first always be determined and consistent Consistency is key. Period. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. God willing. <laughs> Bye, Angels. Mwah.